protesters have been subjected to this level of repression, clamped down, I mean, manhandled, brutalized by, by the authorities. Um, this is something that everybody who is a consummate Democrat, obviously, uh, has to worry about. The point really is that the right to protest is, a, is an inviolable right. It's a fundamental human right. And government ought not be showing this level of backwardness and 16th century behavior towards people who are rightfully protesting. I mean, the incongruous part of this whole thing is the fact that, what, first and foremost, we have to ask ourselves, what are these protesters really saying? They are saying that they are concerned about the level of devastation that is being meted out to our forest cover, our water bodies, the uh, impact, of, impact of illegal mining, on on food security on the health of the people so they are concerned about that and they are registering their protests they do not believe that the government's so-called fight against um, illegal mining is genuine and therefore and hence they are concerned so that's the thing that these people are concerned about interestingly those who say that they are offended the protesters who say that they are offended by what is happening in the bushes by people who are illegally destroying the forest destroying water bodies and you notice not too long ago ghana water for example said that we are likely to be hit by water shortages in fact we, we've been hit by water shortages already and that's something that's a national security concern or should be a national security concern interestingly the government doesn't seem to be concerned about that it is clamping down on those who are who are offended by what is happening in the bushes and rather those who are behind this illegal mining illegal mining are rather walking about freely smiling all the way to the bank and the people who are rather protesting who are saying that the illegal mining that is going on in the bushes is affecting our water bodies is affecting the health of the people and many of you i'm sure because you are news people you followed news of health experts saying that in many of these illegal mining communities we are beginning to see deaths of deformed children that's something that should be concerning particularly for you who is a mother and a woman and a wife and all of those things you know so these are things that we it's it's i think that's a legitimate call that mining ought to be done within the scope that the NDC is talking about. And that's why the NDC manifesto, for example, talks about the fact that it will promote responsible mining, that it will give the people in these mining activities the requisite training, give them expert advice, attach mining engineers to them so they can do their work in, in, in the manner that is expected, that water bodies will not be destroyed, the forest cover will not be destroyed, and, and all of that. So. I think that is a, is a legitimate call on the part of the protesters. And Professor Jainano Pukwajiman is extremely concerned, alarmed, and find it reprehensible how the police have brutalized the people. Some of the stories you cannot even tell. They've been beaten. They've been manhandled. Some of them, we are told, have been uh, arrested. They've been denied food and water. They've been denied access to family, access to, um, to their lawyers. And then they've been hauled before the courts. And they've been remanded, I mean, for offenses that ordinarily um, one ought to be granted bail. That's concerning for anybody who, who cares about this democracy. Uh, all of us have known that this government has been authoritarian, it's been vindictive, it's been repressive. Nobody expected that people who are legitimately and rightfully protesting about the unimaginable destruction of our forest by, by, by illegal miners, the illegal miners are rather giving protection, it appears, and the peaceful protesters are subjected to this brutalization. It's, 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 un, it's unacceptable, it's undemocratic, and must not be countenanced. What does Prof want? The immediate, immediate end to the, to, 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 to the prosecution that's ongoing, the immediate release of the persons who have been remanded in custody, um, to hear also that in this day and age, peaceful protesters are brutalized, arrested, denied access to food and water. I mean, things as basic as 
food, water. They don't have even the right to call their family members and to let them know. And all of you heard stories of how lawyers were coming all over the place trying to locate these people. This, this is like some 14th century behavior in 2024. And that's, that's concerning. So Prof is demanding that we do a reset, release the people, let them go scot-free, redirect your energies to those behind the illegal mining and their bosses who are sitting in air-conditioned offices in Accra. Um, those of you who have familiarized yourself not with the Professor Primpon Boatin report, no.